In this tutorial, we're going to use the Gram-Schmidt process to determine an orthonormal basis for the subspace of R3 spanned by the three vectors 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 2, 2. So given those three vectors, I'll start by naming those vectors. And the first one I'll call it V1 is equal to 100, V2 is equal to 120 and uh, V3 is equals to 0, 2, 2. What we are going to do is, is find uh, three vectors u1, u2, u3, where those vectors have uh, a norm of 1 and they are pairwise uh, orthogonal. And uh, to find these vectors, we are going to use uh, the Gram-Schmidt uh, process. And uh, for the Gram-Schmidt process, we first have to find our u1. The u1 is uh, given by v1 and divided by the norm of uh, v1. Our v1 there is a uh, 1, 0, 0. For the norm of v1 is the square root of uh, the inner product between v1 and itself. So we have uh, the norm of v1 is equal to the square root of the inner product of 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 0. And uh, when you evaluate that, we multiply the corresponding elements there. 1 times 1, which gives us a 1, and the other ones are zeros. So we remain with the square root of 1, and the result there will be 1. So what we are having is the norm of V1 is 1, and we go on to use to calculate U1. So we have uh, u1 is equal to 1, 0, 0, divided by 1. Dividing each element of uh, that by 1, we just get uh, u1 is equal to 1, 0, 0. So we now have uh, that u1. I'll go on and write it on top there because we need to use it when you are calculating u2. For us to find u2, we first have to evaluate W2. W2 is equal to V2 minus the inner product of V2 and U1 multiplied by U1. Our V2 is a 120, and our U1 is the one that you've just calculated is 100. U2 will be given by W2 divided by the norm of W2. So for us to evaluate W2, I will have to calculate uh, the inner product of uh, V2 and V1. That inner product will be equals to 120.100. So we multiply the corresponding elements there, and we have 1 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 0 times 0. And the result is 1. And when we substitute that inner product into the formula of W2 that we have there on the left, it will give us a 1 multiplied by U1. Our expression will therefore become V2 minus U1. And uh, V2 is the one which is highlighted, and U1 is the one which is highlighted above there. So what we have is a 1, 2, 0 minus 1, 0, 0. And uh, the result will be 0, 2, 0. We now have our W2. So we can uh, use it to evaluate U2. But for us to evaluate that U2, we need the norm of uh, W2. And for the norm of W2 is uh, the square root of uh, the inner product of uh, w2 and itself. So what we are having there is uh, the square root of 0, 2, 0, and dot 0, 2, 0. And when you multiply the corresponding elements there, we would have 0 times 0 plus 2 times 2 plus 0 times 0. And uh, the result will be the square root of uh, 4. And the square root of 4 is a 2. So we have found the norm of uh, w2 and we substitute that in the formula for u2 there, and it will give us a w2 divided by 2. 
And what we now need to do is uh, to evaluate uh, that uh, W2 divided by 2. We have the W2 is uh, 0, 2, 0, and we are dividing that uh, by 2. So we are dividing each element of that W2 by 2, and uh, we get uh, 0, 1, 0. We now have our U1 and our U2, which we have just evaluated. We now need uh, to evaluate uh, the U3. But for us to evaluate U3, we first have uh, to find W3. W3 is equal to V3 minus the inner product of V3 and U1 multiplied by U1 minus the inner product of V3 and U2 times U2. And uh, to evaluate uh, that uh, W3, I'll start by evaluating the inner product of uh, V3 and U1. Our V3 is 0, 0,2,2. And our U1 is 1, 0, 0, and we take the inner product, and that is we multiply the corresponding elements, then we add them. We have a 0 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 2 times 0, and uh, the result there is a 0. And if I substitute that uh, inner product in the formula for W3, we would have V3 minus 0 times U1. We now go on and evaluate the inner product of V3 and U2. Our V3 is 0, 0,2,2. Our U2 is 0, 0,1,0. 0. And uh, the inner product there, we multiply the corresponding elements, then we add them. And it will give us 0 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times 0. And the result there is a 2. Let us now substitute that inner product in the formula for W3 there. It will give us minus 2U2. And uh, 0 times U1 there is a 0. And therefore, our W3 simplifies to V3 minus 2U2. But we have our V3 there is a 0, 0,2,2. And our U2 is a 0, 1, 0. And if we substitute in the formula for W3 there, we would have a 0, 2, 2 minus 2 times 0, 1, 0. 2 times 0, 1, 0 gives us a 0, 2, 0. And when you subtract it from a 0, 2, 2, the result will be 0, 0, 2. What we have now is our W3 is zero zero two now that we have found our w3 we can now go on and evaluate u3 u3 is equals to w3 divided by the norm of w3 and for the norm of w3 is the square root of the inner product of w3 and itself so we have uh, the square root of uh, zero 0, 2, dot zero, zero, 2. And when you multiply the corresponding elements, they to be 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0 plus 2 times 2, and it will give us a 4. We have square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is a 2. What we are having there is uh, the norm of W3 is 2. And when you substitute it into the formula of U3 at the bottom there, we have uh, the U3, 0, 0, 2, divided by the norm of uh, W3, which is a 2. And uh, the solution will be 0, 0, 1. So what we have there, we have now found our U1, our U2, our U3, using the gram schmidt orthogonalization process. And uh, those are vectors U1, U2 and U3 are uh, the orthonormal basis for the vectors that we had at the beginning. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section.